Hello and welcome to Shiloh. I'm Tiffany Pardue here with Fran Wohlers, who we just experienced a wonderful afternoon together. Thank you, Fran, for being here and sharing your story. What a treat you're in for. You're gonna get an excerpt of her time with us where she had a powerful vision on her first trip to Israel. But before that, we wanted to give Fran the opportunity to exhort all of you and to inform our intercession for the Isaiah 62 fast. Fran, what would you say to us? One of the things that I am praying for during this fast is that the Holy Spirit pours out a spirit of repentance onto those who are praying and fasting. As a Jewish woman, I'm aware of the history of what has been done to the Jewish people throughout church history in the name of Jesus. The second thing that happened was I had an encounter at the, at the um, hotel, the Western Wall. And I remember that we had, we had been at the wall praying and then there's this bluff that you can stand up and look out over the wall, the men on the left, the women on the right. And there was an Orthodox Jewish man and he was praying at the wall. He's right at the wall praying. And the Lord highlighted this man. And he literally, I saw him holding like a boulder. And the Lord spoke and said, this boulder is this man's heart, his hard heart. And the Lord spoke and said, this heart will not be softened to the gospel or to Jesus until the church as a whole repents to the Jewish people. Wow. Now I have to tell you, I had no grid for this. I, even though I knew the history, I had no grid for repentance. I had never heard repentance really. I mean, you repent unto your sin, unto salvation, but repenting unto anything else, I really didn't have a grid for that. And I remember when I got back to Tennessee, everyone wanted to know about the trip. All I could talk about was that encounter at the wall. And you know when you're talking to someone and they want to be polite and you're, you're explaining something to them, but you know, the, you know they don't get have that glazed look in their eye, they would smile politely like as I would tell them about repenting, the church repenting, but I knew they didn't get it. And honestly, I didn't really understand what the Lord was doing. And I remained in Tennessee Let's see, um, six more years? So for six years, I carried this in my heart about repentance. Didn't have a, a place to put it, but I knew that it was a powerful encounter. The Lord had spoken and it was true, it was real. Until I moved to Kansas City, and then I started meeting people that understood about repentance and then it, it just, the Lord birthed it in me. And that's one thing that I am praying in this Isaiah 62, 21-day prayer and fasting for the Jewish people is this, that as the Spirit is pouring out revelation onto the Gentile body, the revelation of Israel, God's heart for the Jewish people, how to intercede, that the Holy Spirit will also pour out a spirit of repentance on the church, because I think that is critical, a critical piece, this is just my perspective, a critical piece to the Jewish people coming to salvation at the end of the age. I think there has to be repentance. So Jesus in the book of Revelation, when he spoke to the seven churches, five of the seven churches, he said, repent or else. So I think that's the next, that's what I'm praying for. And I think that's a move of the spirit that will happen. I don't know when, but that's what I believe. 